Hello everybody and welcome to the Game Shared. This is part two of our Wii Soft Mod tutorial. So first thing you want to do from part one, if you haven't watched part one, go and watch part one. So we need to reinsert our SD card into our computer. And if you've copy, copied everything as you should have done, you will notice that you've got quite a bit of free space left on your SD card. I'm using a two gig one for this demonstration. So I've just seen I've got more than enough left over. So the first thing we want to do is go into Google and type in WeBrew. Now WeBrew is where you're gonna find all your emulators for your Nintendo Wii. And remember this will only work if you have soft modded. So once you're in WeBrew, click on the emulators tab. I'm just gonna expand this for you so you can see everything. So there's your list. It's split into consoles, handheld, arcade, and computer. And there's loads in here, absolutely tons. So Genesis or Sega Mega Drive, if you like. SNES, there's NES, Neo Geo, Intellivision, the PlayStation, all the way down to Neo Geo Pocket, Atari Lynx. There's some MAME arcade emulation, uh, Atari ST, etc., etc. So I'm going to install this here. This is a... Game Boy, Game Boy Advance emulator. So there it is. You can just read some of the description there to see if it's right for you. But on the right hand side is your download button. So click that and you'll see there's two links I want you to click. I want you to click the middle one here. And that is your actual emulator. And it's called Visual Boy Advance GX. So if we go back as well, I'm gonna install the channel installer or the forwarder. Now that's what they're called, that's when you get a, a Nintendo channel, uh, a channel on your Wii. That is called a forwarder, so I've just downloaded that. And you can obtain those if you search on Google or whatever search thing you like. So first thing you'll do, you'll notice if you unzip those files, you have two folders. So grab the first one, not the one that says apps, and extract it to your SD card just onto the root of your SD. So don't worry about putting it in a folder. Then the apps folder, double click to go into it and whatever's in there, extract that into the apps folder we've already set up in our SD card. So you need to do those two things, the first folder onto the root and the one that's in the apps folder into your apps folder. Now here is the channel. So just you can read to see some of these have instructions on them already. So if you just read this, it will tell you where to put it and what to do with it, etc. It's nice and easy, this one. Not all channel forwarders are quite that easy, but I'll go through that in another video if you'd like me to. Just leave a comment below. Um, they do get more and more complex. So you can see it's in apps again. So we just open the apps folder and just extract what's inside into, can you guess where? That's right, into your SD card, inside the apps folder here. So anything that's in an apps folder goes into the apps folder on your SD card. So there we go, that's done. Now, I the, these are the folders that you should have. So within apps, you'll find your new folder there. And that just shows you that we've got our Visual Boy emulator installed. And what we're gonna need to do is just have a look in this folder here, and you can see there's a ROMs folder. Now your ROMs folder is where you put your games. The games are called ROMs, so I've already got some installed. If you don't know how to get ROMs, um, you can Google search them. Just search for whatever system it is, SNES or Game Boy Advance in this case, ROM, okay? So that in this case, I'd just Google search download Game Boy Advance ROM. I've already got some here somewhere. Um, where would they be? They might be in here. Here they are. As you can see, I've got tons and tons. So I'm just gonna pick a game. Let's have Super Mario Advance 1, I think, or 4, 4, okay. So, I'm just gonna take the .gba file, copy that. Now don't move the zip file, move whatever's in the zip file. And go into your SD card, 
into your emulator and into the ROMs folder. And I'm just gonna paste that like so. So in it goes. The process should be pretty much the same for most of the emulators and the file structure and storage and whatnot. But if there is a particular emulator you'd like me to do a video for, for the Wii, just let me know and I'll do a, a tutorial for that specific emulator. So over to the Wii now, uh, we can remove our SD card from our PC and put it into our Wii. So if you follow tutorial one, your home channel should look like that. Ignore the GameCube symbol in the top left hand corner because I've got a GameCube game in my Wii at the moment. So in goes my SD card. You can see there, my SD card is registered. So into the homebrew channel we've gone and start okay and we just wait for it to boot up now you can see there's two new options VBAGX channel installer and Visual Boy Advance don't worry about the Visual Boy Advance we just want to load up the channel installer so press load and this is going to open up VBAGX and just ask us if we want to install the channel so press install. That's it, done. So press OK and we'll back out. And that's it. So press the home button to exit and then press exit to go back to your home screen on your Wii. And we shall see, there it is, VBAGX, a brand new channel for the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance bits and pieces. So we just press start. Doesn't that look nice? In we go. Now I've only put one ROM in here, or one game. You can put as many as you like, as much storage base as you have. So there it is, Super Mario Advance 4. You just click it to start it. Now you can see here this is actually quite blurred um, and that's because I've got the automatic filtering system on which smooths everything out otherwise it becomes very very pixelated and we don't, I mean it's up to you, it's your preferences if you've got a big TV it's sometimes nice to have on the filtering otherwise it just looks too blocky. Um, if you've got a smaller telly take off the filtering just you can mess around with the controls the um, the sort of visual effect by pressing the home button at any time. There you go. Full blown Super Mario Brothers 3, but playing through Super Mario Advance 4 on a Nintendo Wii. There it is. Absolutely perfect. Now, there really is no limit to what you can do with the Wii. Um, it's it does get more complex not all not all emulators have a channel installer built in and you have to do it manually um, if, if you do want to see a tutorial on how to install your own channels or something that doesn't have a channel installer as I said leave a comment below remember to give it a thumbs up this video um, the more thumbs up the better and the more likelihood of us actually doing more tutorials there is so um, or if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see, just let me know. So until the next time, thanks for watching and see you later.